Another important element in cable pulling is the pulling grip. The mesh pulling grip that you can see on the right hand side in the top right corner of your screen. This is a critical element in a proper installation, provided that you use it properly. Here are the main rules that you have to follow when choosing the pulling grip for your cable installation. The first thing is that they have to withstand the tension applied in the pulling line without damaging the cable. Install that pulling grip, physically tying up the strength members. So it has to be mechanically coupled to the strength members. The pulling force has to be applied to the strength members, not to the cable sheath alone. The grip has to be at least 60 centimeters long and withstand at least five times the maximum cable pulling tension. We are going to see now a short video about the utilization of pulling grips. The trick to a proper installation is to select the right pulling grip and that is determined by first measuring the outer diameter of the cable and then consulting with the pulling grip manufacturer for the right pulling grip. Once that is determined, the rest is easy. I'm going to wear my gloves first. Once the right pulling grip has been obtained, inspect it for damage. What you're looking for are broken wires, bulges due to excessive stress, rust, and things like that. Also give it a small tug there and uh, smooth it. As you can see, I'm wearing leather gloves just to make sure that I don't injure my hands. Look at the cable end. It's now time to install the pulling grip itself. Rule of thumb is the pulling grip that fits over the cable without excessive difficulty is the right pulling grip. So we'll just insert the cable on the end and we'll use a pumping action to get the pulling grip onto the cable. As you can see, if with the right pulling grip, it's relatively easy. So we're going to stop about a quarter of an inch from the basket, so that looks about right, right there. Smooth the mesh over the cable, and also give it a small tug to make sure everything is snug. And then we're going to apply electrician's tape, starting at a point one inch from the end of the mesh. And we have to wrap the tape really tightly to make sure that the mesh is fully compressed against the cable. A good measure of how tight the tape is being applied is to be able to see the imprint of the wire mesh through the tape. Occasionally give the cable a pull just to make sure everything is still tight and continue wrapping. We are now ready to connect the cable to the pulling rope or pulling tape. 